This video is mainly a response to the video put out by the YouTube user who uses the name Jenna, class of 2013, asking me what the big deal about school paddling is. Well, I'll tell you what the big deal is. I've said this in my other a lot of my other videos. You can check them out. I don't want to be too redundant, but as I've said in other videos, it's not uncommon for parents to sometimes spank small children. And in all reality, I don't see that as changing. To try and, and ban spanking outright to say that not even parents can spank small children, I don't see that as being realistic. However, I see no reason for schools to paddle. Certainly not into high school, into the teenage years. I mean, that's too old to be spanked even by your parents. And certainly not by a school. Uh, just because just because something works doesn't make it right. You say that, oh, that the paddling, that it works. Well, just because it works doesn't mean it's right. For instance, let's say that, hypothetically speaking, that a school used rape as a form of punishment. Let's say that for some minor infraction, such as being late to class or not having your shirt tucked in, that you would go to the office and you get raped. That would probably work, wouldn't it? I mean, <laughs> you'd probably never be late to class again. You'd probably never have your shirt untucked. You wouldn't want to get raped again. So it would probably work really well. Does that make it right? Absolutely not. Now, you're probably saying that being paddled is nothing like being raped. Well, number one, it, yes, it is. Uh, paddling can be very much like rape, and if you don't think so, I will give you a website. I will put it right here. On the screen of this video, you can look it up for yourself. I, I have this address in one of my other videos, but I'm putting it in this video as well. You can see for yourself. That's number one. Number two, even if you don't think that being paddled is the same thing as being raped, the concept is the same. Just because something works doesn't make it right. You know, just because uh, some really severe punishment stops somebody from ever doing something again doesn't make the punishment itself right. In our country, we uh, it, uh, it's cruel and unusual punishment. It is prohibited in the Constitution. And why some people might argue that this only refers to uh, criminal punishment done by the government, I think it sh should apply to everything. And by the way, you're wrong about Japan, about how good the students are in Japan, about how, uh, how strict they might be in class, and about how good they are. In the old days, back in the 80s or the 70s, Yes, they were really good students then, and they behaved really well. But as of recently, there have been some behavior problems in Japan. Look it up on the internet yourself. It's not like what it used to be. There's even been assaults upon school teachers in, in Japan. You could check for yourself. And as for your rules for paddling, you say that that parents can sign a form that say that you shouldn't be paddled and that uh, they can't just paddle you for the heck of it, that uh, you have to get so many referrals or whatever. Maybe that's how it's run in your school, but from what I know, a lot of schools where they paddle, they don't run it like that, and they don't really need a reason to paddle you. They could just, in some schools, they can roll dice and paddle some student at random just for the heck of it. That may not be how your school is run, but in places where paddling is allowed, from what I know, that's how some schools are run. And I've heard of cases of students being paddled even when their parents signed the form that said they couldn't be. And there are some places, like in the state of Texas, where, from what I know, in a lot of those schools, you don't eat, the parents don't even have to sign anything. They can paddle you with or without your parents' approval. So, as I said, just because it works doesn't make it right. And you yourself, you look to be 16, 17. Uh, in your YouTube, YouTube username, you claim you're in the class of 2013, so I would guess you're about that age. At your age, aren't you a bit old for that? I find it interesting somebody your age would be for something like this. It's like a Jewish person siding with the Nazis. You know, for a teenager, somebody a teenager who's a teenager themselves, to actually side with, the, with paddling, to say that paddling should be done somebody who would be on the receiving end, that's being just like a Jewish person who siding with the Nazis. Now, as I said earlier about Japan, 
that uh, in Japan that how they don't have good students, not all, not not all the time, or at least they have behavior problems, not like they used to. Hell, in the old days, students were much better behaved, but now things are going to pieces a bit in Japan. Well, there are some good things about Japan. They've got the martial arts in Japan. Uh, you say you're from the South. Well, uh, from what I know about the Deep South, where you're out in the middle of nowhere, you don't really have that much in the way of cities and all that. And I don't think there are that many martial arts schools in, in the South, in the Deep South. I could be wrong about this. Uh, I know it's changing. There's many more martial arts schools in this country now than there were, say, 10, 20 years ago. Uh, but I think it's important to have access to stuff like that. I myself, I train in the martial arts. As you can see, I train in the martial arts and I know how to take care of myself. I wouldn't let anybody paddle me. And aside from my martial arts training, I've trained with Navy SEALs in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That certain uh, certain programs where they teach you hand-to-hand -hand combat, which are run by Navy SEALs, which they're commercially available programs, which I've done. I've, I've done that. I've been to various seminars and so forth. So I know how to take care of myself. I simply, I would not let anybody paddle me in the first place. And, and let's let's be sensible. Trying to paddle someone with an adult-sized body, that is just outright absurd. You know, as somebody pointed out, if you don't have a gun, you're not going to shoot anybody. Well, that concept is it's the same concept with paddling. You're not going to paddle somebody if you're not physically able to and if they won't let you. You know, uh, and by the way, you know how paddling with the paddle was started out as? How, what it was invented for? It was invented for use on slaves. That's what it was used for, not for punishing children in school. It was invented for use on slaves. And that's why New Jersey banned it in the 1860s. When slavery was banned, the state of New Jersey also banned the paddle because they were saying that, well, since paddles are used on slaves, we can't allow these in schools either. Now that slavery is banned, the paddle has to go with it. And that's what all the states should have done. And you know where paddling is used? Pornography. That's where, you know, uh, as I said earlier in this video, that it's not uncommon for parents to spank small children, to spank young children. But with teenagers, I mean, trying to spank somebody, even a teenager, even the parents trying to spank somebody who's, who's a teenager with an adult-sized body, they're just outright absurd. Uh, a, somebody your age, 16, 17 years old, physically able to have children, being spanked or hit with a paddle, that's the same thing you see in porn, in pornography. And here, I'll, I'll show you this visit I made to a porn shop. I don't like porn, I just visited this porn shop to make this very point about how spanking implements are used in that sort of stuff. Here's, here's the clip. Here I am in a porn shop. This is the S&M section. They've got paddles. This paddle here, it says, Caution! Extremely dangerous. And they've got your, your spanking switches and sticks and rods. And this just goes to show you the sexuality of spanking. These, these paddles. Look at these, look at these big things. They think they can actually use these in schools in certain parts of this country. Something you'd find in porn shops. That you can actually use these on students in schools is corporal punishment. That, that is sick. As you can see, the sexuality of spanking, there is no question that such practices should not carry into the teenage years. Not when sexuality comes into play. So as you can see, that stuff's used in pornography. I don't see, you know, a teenager is just too old to be spanked. And uh, it's sexual assault at that age when, you, when you're, you know, the buttocks along with the genitals is a private part. And, and it, for teenagers, it is too old. Like I said, it's like being raped. And here's some other websites. Here's this other website, this great website called The Hitting Stops Here. You can check that out for, for more info. That website has links to other websites. Thank you for watching. If you excuse me, I've got to go train some more. Bye-bye.